one of the enhancements we saw in the LTE technology, which is now coming into life, is LTE Advanced Carry Aggregation. So that is uh, a feature which allows you to combine multiple carriers. N3P it's actually up to five carriers in total, but realistic implementations will go for two downlink carriers, maybe and one uplink carrier uh, in the first place. And that is coming to reality right now. Well, of course, it's achieving higher data rates because we combine multiple carriers at one side. The other side is that we can sum up the spectrum the operators have, maybe not continuously or adjacent to each other, but in different frequency bands. So we pull 5 megahertz here and 10 megahertz there to combine them to get higher data rates. And the issue with testing is, of course, primarily through to, throughput because we want to see these high data rates going through. And there are different aspects on top of that. There are different layer testing, let's say. On the physical layer, it will be to see that the link is established and that the uplink is still working as it's supposed to be beforehand. So uplink has still be ACLR compliant, spectrum emission mask from compliant, EVM compliant. At the same time, the receiving two carriers and getting the throughput on the physical layer. But then, of course, on the protocol stack, you have to do all the messaging. A terminal has to achieve or to correctly respond to additional carriers to be set up and to release them afterwards if they are down. And also at the very end, there's the important subject of end-to-end -end testing so that you see on IP layer that these data rates are really achieved on application layer side.